There are plenty of notebooks out there featuring the number keys as part of the keyboard. But we have never seen Apple do this. In fact, no MacBook has ever had numbers as a dedicated part of the keyboard. But the Magic Keyboard that Apple sells happens to have a variant with the number keys, so Apple clearly knows the importance of number pad. So why wouldn't they just add it to the MacBook? Well, there are some problems with this concept, but let me begin with probably the biggest one, the trackpad. Although it may not seem like a big deal, but the trackpad would be a bit problematic. We know that Apple pays a lot of attention to details, design, and the way their products look and feel. That's why everything has to be nice and centered. If you look closely at the Windows laptops that have the number pad, you can notice that their trackpad is a little bit off to the side. It's not by accident. The reason for it is clear. The trackpad has to be under the keyboard to exactly split it in half. It has to be in the middle. When you type on your keyboard, you need to have some space to rest your hands. If the trackpad wasn't moved to the left, under the middle point of the letter keyboard, you'd have no spot to place your wrists and you'd constantly keep pressing the trackpad with the palm of your hand. So Apple would be forced to do the same thing and, as we know Apple, it's unlikely that they would compromise their design for functionality. Okay, but let's assume that Apple would still go for it. How exactly could they do it? It seems obvious, like, just put it there right to the side of the keyboard, right? But what about the rest of the device? The option number one would be to make the MacBook wider. It's logical, right? The actual MacBook would have to get bigger if we want to have more keys. But if you stretch out the chassis of our MacBook, what about the screen? It couldn't stay the same, it would have to get proportionally wider, which would most likely look a bit weird. It would no longer be a 13 or 15 inch display, but much larger. Also, the aspect ratio would naturally be messed up. Because of the bigger size, we can expect it to be heavier, although likely with more battery life, but overall less portability and I think it's safe to say that a MacBook like this with the number pad would objectively look uglier. But what if we keep the form factor exactly as it was? But let's just shrink the existing keyboard to accommodate the numbers as well. This would prevent all the challenges we discussed earlier, no need to widen the display or to make the MacBook a huge stationary device. However, it would make the keyboard much smaller, the actual keys would be thinner. I mean, it's just a less comfortable experience to type on smaller keys. It wouldn't be impossible though. The iPad Magic Keyboard has much smaller keys, but I think that it would be a terrible thing to use and to look at. The third possibility would be to combine the two approaches together. So shrinking the keyboard a bit while making the chassis a bit wider. Of course, this would work, but I think that we are missing the bigger picture. Because the real question I think is, do we really want it, or is this actually necessary? And it seems that it's not. People don't expect Apple to include numbers on any MacBook, and we are used to the way that it is now. For the majority of people, typing in numbers doesn't represent their entire workflow. And for those people that type numbers constantly, well, they can buy the Magic Keyboard with the numbers or just as the sole number pad that can be connected to any Mac. There are plenty products in this category. Even on the official Apple Web Store, there are some external number pads in the accessory section. So you can just place it next to your existing MacBook and type your numbers in that way. This would effectively solve the entire problem while keeping the MacBook as it is. So, in my opinion, the reason why Apple still hasn't included these keys is twofold. First, we don't want or need them as much, and second, it would require a lot of work from Apple to figure out the optimal way this could be designed and manufactured. And all that just for a fraction of users that would actually be glad about having it. So, can we expect this to happen in the future? 
Well, in the near future, most likely no. Apple is much more concerned about improving the products that already exist and work well, instead of adding new stuff and improving things that we don't even ask for. Thanks a lot for watching this video, make sure to subscribe to Foxtech TV and we can see each other in the future.